PentoML is a Python open source library that enables users to create a machine learning powered prediction service in minutes. In the previous video, we learned how to build a Bentos. Now that you have the built Bentos, you can either containerize it as a Docker image or deploy it to Heroku. Since I want to create a public link for my API, I'll deploy it to the Heroku container registry. To use Heroku, start with installing Heroku. The link to install Heroku is at the command below. When going to the website, you will see the instruction to install Heroku on various OS. After create a free account with Heroku, you can log into a Heroku account on your command line using Heroku login. And a browser will pop up telling you to log in to the Heroku CLI. Click login. After we have logging, we can go back to our command line. Okay, cool. Now select log into the Heroku container registry. Okay, we have logging successfully. To create a Heroku app, we will start with creating a name for our app. I'll call it Customer Segmentation k -Mings. Now let's create an app with the name that we have just created. Now we will containerize Bentos and push it to the Heroku app that we have just created. To do that, go to the Docker directory where all of the configuration of a Docker container is specified. Cool. Let's push our container to Heroku. Okay, now that we have successfully pushed our image to Heroku, let's release the app. Nice. Now the app should be listed in the Heroku dashboard. Let's check it out. We can see that the image we had just pushed is on Heroku dashboard. To use it, click the app, click open app. Now you can see that we have the exact same interface that we saw previously, but now it have a public URL. Now you can share this URL with your coworker or any people that want to use your app. That's pretty cool. Now we can use the app that we had just created to map prediction. To get a request from our public API, use Python's request library and the post method. The first argument is the name of your app. And in my case, it is customer segmentation k -Mings and the session predict. The header is content type application JSON and the data is what you would insert to your API. And we're gonna get the content of the prediction by using doc text and we will print the prediction. Let's run this code and see how it looks like. Nice, we got a prediction of two. That means the information about the customer we provide to the app belong to cluster 2. That's it about creating a public link for your API. In the next video, we will learn how to build a user interface for our service using Streamlit.